Project friends, welcome to my life. How are you doing today? I hope that you're fine, happy, and healthy. This is your budget friend Josie. If you're new here, I welcome you in this family. And if you're a returning subscriber, I welcome you back and I am so happy that you're here to support this channel. I am on my journey to become that free. And so, in this channel, I am doing anything related to budgeting, cash topping, savings challenges, and that snowball payoff. If this interests you, then please hit like and subscribe to this channel. Today is December 31, 2021, and it's the last day of 2021. I want to bid you all a happy new year 2022 for tomorrow, and I wish that this new year will be new joy, peace, good health, and wealth. So for tonight, I will do my monthly close-up budget and overview for the month of December 2021. I have here my bullet journal notebook. So you saw me when I set up this one the last time. And as you can see, I already did uh, check in the expenses that I did for the month of December. So I have here the color coding so it's easy for me to familiarize my category. So the blue one is my income, the green one is my fixed expenses, the violet is the variable, the orange is the uh, expenses if I use my credit card or if I purchase something online. The pink one is for my dad, and then the yellow green is for my savings, and then the rose pink is for the no spend days, and my red color is my sinking fund. And then uh, I also need the color coding for the mode of payment. For example, if I use my debit card, cash, or credit card. So this is my monthly. Um, calendar for December 2021 as you can see I already did my check-in and so far I am loving it so I did some errors and everything but this is my first month that I'm doing this and I am still um, into learning new methods or strategies on how I will improve myself in documenting my financial journey. So I will not elaborate this, but anyway, as you can see, I have this color coding for my income, for my savings, and then for my variable expenses, my fixed expenses, my debt, and some of my um, expenses when I use my credit card and for this month I did a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 no spend days so as you can see I already did my monthly goals so, my monthly goals for this month of December is to have 200 subscribers in YouTube and when I check um, today, I already have 215 um, as of the moment. So, later on, I will um, give mechanics for my giveaways for my 200 subscribers. So, this one we achieved this and then I also um, put here my goal to pay my debt of $500 and this month the total debt that I paid was $540 so this is also done and the third one is to save five hundred dollars. Technically, um, I did not save this month because I depleted my sinking funds. But I will explain it later. 
So, I didn't do this. And the last one is to have a 15 no spend days. So, this month, I have a total of 20 no spend days. So, this is also done. So, out of my 4 goals, I did 3 of them. So, now I will do my no spend days check-in so I have this one I made this myself Focus. so the total is 20 over 31 So not bad, we achieved this goal and hopefully next month we can still do this. So I will do my budget close out later but for the meantime, so this is what I did with my daily expenses. So I wrote down here everything. So as you can see all my expenses are here, also all included, it's easy for me to know I spend and as you can see at the end of the month I didn't sp spend anything because I already spent from the early days of December so my death tracker was done and my sinking funds tracker I also transferred here from my old um, planner or notebook but I can still use this one so this one uh, I also did my sinking funds tracker I will not also explain it to you one by one because it will take a long time but basically um, this is the summary of my sinking funds so I did not put anything on my sinking funds this month except for my um, savings and my um, some of my savings challenges and my emergency fund that I put in the bank so that's why as you can see I did not include it in my goal that I achieved it because the money was already with me from my previous savings challenges so as you can see from the last time that I did my sinking funds update, I had a total of $1,677.10 but I depleted my um, sinking funds because I used my money in the Philippines from my online uh, as you can see I have it here so this is the expenses that I did so that's why I removed it from my sinking funds from the Philippines so that's why I did that so the total money that I have now for my sinking funds is 1,154.05 so Actually, I was down to 523.05, but it's okay. Um, I learned a lot this month on how I will do my budgeting. So for the next year, I hope during holiday seasons, I will be able to save money from January until December. So I will be able to have fun for my Christmas um, holidays or any emergency cases so for now I will do my budget myself so for my salary I did receive a total of 2005.72 and my cash flow over it was 
808.10 and the total gifts that I received gifts and rewards was 345.25 and the others is from my simple fund roll over and the total of that was $495 because I also removed money from my gift and the money from my pay to myself so for this the total would be was 3654.70 for my phone I actually paid 77.78 so it is higher than I paid last month so a difference of $2.26 in my insurance it's still the same 141.80 so nothing new and for my family because uh, I used my CD funds over I did spend 1265.78 so this is where I over budget uh, 415.78 so because uh, we paid for the car down payment for my father's car and I give some of uh, donation to a sick family member and also um, we did some renovation in my house that's why I spent this uh, money next my price is the same it's two hundred dollars and the box is fifteen and ten so if you total all this So the total is 1700.69 So the difference from the budgeted one is 417.59 So I over budgeted for this one Then in my bag I did pay 100 in my credit card and in my debt fund I also paid 300 and in my host loan I paid 140 so total of this oh okay, this is over four dollars I paid 540 so next is my variable expenses and I did combine my grocery allowance and miscellaneous so for my grocery I over budgeted 83.60 so I over budgeted um, $33.60 for my transportation I also over budgeted um, I paid the total of $35 so it was over $20 so for my down out I also over budget I spent $22 so I have been increased of two dollars for my craft um i have bought some materials that i use for my arts and so i have spent 11.70 so actually i have because of eight dollars and thirty cents and then for my giveaway, I only spent $24.27. So, I also have a mean of $5.73. But 
I use this remaining balance to pay some for the purchase I did online. So I bought some stuff online as a gift and I give to myself and to my friends. So this one um oh wait. my credit card I paid eighty nine dollars so I have here less than one dollar and my unexpected expenses was total of 412.89 so this is not budgeted that's why I took some money from the gifts that I received and from the casual over so that's it total of this will be so the total is 670.46 dollars and then for the calamity I only put 100 in my emergency fund I did deposit my 500 dollars and I didn't put anything in my CD funds, but in my savings challenge, I did have 73.53 dollars. So, the total of this would be 673.53. Then I have a leftover in my cushion of $61.49 I kept this in my bank or in case if I need something so I will do my zero base so let's uh, double check if it is really zero I have a remaining of 61.49 so that 61.49 is the leftover in my bank account Okay, so I will do my monthly overview. So my total income was $3,654.17. My total expenses was $2,918.15. And the savings that I did was only $735.17. And the total that that I paid for this month is 530. So I only did total of 20 days in spend days. So that is my monthly overview. So I already left my coins and this is the money that I have. It's only three dollars from all the cash envelope that I had that's all repeated so I will put these coins in my coin jar so I have a uh, $9.10 so I made mean the new tracker for this I made this one so I just printed it and laminated it and I will do my tracker here in my black binder. So I do my coins challenge. So 
now I have a total of 12 So, as the new year 2022 is coming, I am praying for wisdom and for strength and determination to improve my financial strategy so I would be able to pay off my debt and save more in my savings, saving funds and savings challenges. And I'm so happy that this month I hit um, 219 subscribers. So, as a way of thanks to all of you, I will be giving away $20 cash um, through PayPal or e-transfer if you're here from Canada or if you're from America or UK or Australia or wherever you are. If you have PayPal and if you're the lucky winner, I will send $20 to you. And if also, if you're from the Philippines, you will also pick one of your winner of 500 pesos G-Cash. And you just have to comment down below a hashtag New Year 2022 and a celebration emoji. So you put that comment down below and I will draw the lucky winners on January 7, 2022. That is Friday since today is Friday. So one week from now, I will draw the lucky winners. One for... $40 and one for 500 pesos Gcash. So, again, thank you so much for all of you for commenting, um, sending me love and support and kind words that help me to do better in my financial journey. And I hope that you learned something from me today. If you have any questions or suggestions for how I will improve my budget method or anything you would like me to do, please comment down below and I will try my very best to comment to each and every one of you. Please do share, like, and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for more updates on my next video. Thank you guys for always being here to support me in my financial journey and always remember that if you are saving you are succeeding again happy new year to all of you and this is your budget friend josie and i will see you again in my next video take care and bye bye